Okay, good morning. I'm currently at Hobby Lobby. Um, I left my phone in the car and I don't know where my sister is. And the, this, this, I mean this Costco, this Hobby Lobby is very big. So I need to text her to find where she's at. Jenny? Oh, I hear somebody. Girl, I caught that on video. You broke it. Oh oh you broke it. Oh Can you put this on the table? Because it's so cute. Oh, that's cute. On the table. Or Maya. I mean, don't this like. like I forgot to mention, but we actually got our blinds for our living room changed, and it looks so good. Our house just looks so like uniform and pretty and I never grew up with curtains growing up I always had like those roll-up blinds and so I never liked the curtains that we had because then I couldn't roll up my window and then like my neighbors would constantly see me but anyways I'm so in love shout out to my mom and my aunt and uncle for just doing this for us like i'm so grateful and i'm sure my baby will be grateful too um i just got back from hobby lobby and my part of the oh i don't think i even explained but basically what happened was cousin was supposed to plan me a baby shower with the help of my sister-in-law but my cousin bailed last minute which is totally fine i don't care um but I just to help out my sister-in-law, I we went to Hobby Lobby today and we picked up some stuff for the de decoration. Food is already covered. And so I'm just going to make like little t-shirts out of these that I saw on Pinterest that I thought were cute and just like drape it around the table. So I'm excited for that. Then I also stopped at Trader Joe's and let me do a food haul for you. Okay, to start off, replenishing our chocolate croissants because we only have three left. And I also wanted to get the chicken soup dumplings. I think I get the pork ones and I don't like them. So I wanted to try the chicken. I also got these hash browns. I mean, yes, hash browns. The shredded hash browns. I'm really not like a hash brown, like McDonald's hash brown person. I'll eat it if like that's the only thing they have, but I prefer these so much more because it's so crispy. Then I saw these like roasted bell peppers and onions and I buy bell peppers and they go bad so quickly. And so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get these, leave it in the freezer, use it when I need it. I originally, this is the only thing I actually needed from Trader Joe's. It's the tortilla, the low carb tortilla. It's 45 calories and three grams of protein, six grams of fiber and nine grams of carbs. Where does it say that? Oh, I see, nine grams of carbs. These are really good and because they're thin, it, it gives a little crisp when you put it on the stove and stuff. So. I highly recommend. Then I got some more bananas. The, the bananas that we got from Sam's Club, they were really good. Um, and it was really cheap too. I don't know how much these were. I know the ones from Sam's Club were less than a dollar. Oh, this was a dollar twenty-five. So I just got a little green ones because just in case Sam takes it to work next week. Then I just got some salsa. I feel like it's always just good to have. I got the medium one because Sam can't handle his spice as well as I can. I also got some mushrooms. Uh, I just feel like they're good to have. And I also got these potatoes because I feel like these are the ones that are really crispy. Um, but I'm going to try to make curry this week just so I have something to eat. Hold on. I also got some carrots. This bag was 99 cents. And honestly, I need to stop buying the big bags from like Costco because we don't go through them quick enough. And so I need to just stop doing that. But yeah, these are 99 cents. So I feel like that's a really good deal. It'll last me for at least a few weeks because I don't eat 
carrots like that. So all in all, I spent $29.06 for everything. And I was going to go and eat seolongtang, which is like Korean soup. But that would have cost me at least $25. And so I'm very proud of myself for not eating that and being able to buy all these groceries instead. And this will last me for like weeks. Okay, I bought these last time. This is the chickenless mandarin orange morsels from Trader Joe's. I'm going to eat this today because I forgot I had this in the fridge. Okay, so I'm just eating half. But I did take a bite and it is actually really good. And the texture is not bad. It does feel like chicken. I don't know what they made it out of. But I also cooked an egg just for extra protein. Mm. It's soybean. After I eat, I'm going to make almond milk. And then I'm going to start on making my kare. And then Sam's chicken. And hopefully he'll be home by then. Plant update. My green onion is thriving, doing better than ever. Um, my mint leaves are growing back ferociously. And in like crevices like this, it's honestly becoming a weed. And I'm getting a little frustrated because I feel like it's just taking over my whole entire garden. And I'm stressed. Um, I feel like my avocado is doing amazing because now it's like next to friends and I don't know it just like seems to be thriving definitely getting a lot more water than before so that's obviously a plus two but yeah like new stems are growing I thought that there were flowers growing but it wasn't um our sweet potatoes yeah I don't know I don't know it's just a lot of leaves but I can't open the pockets I just don't know where it is so this is our potato it doesn't seem to be like thriving but I'm just gonna trust the process we have six watermelons left and our bell peppers are actually growing I believe the, I believe these buds are actually what will flower into the plant um and so i'm excited about that because i don't know what colors these are um by the way my radish is doing amazing i do need to plant these now because they sprung overnight literally there was just one and then all the rest grew overnight oh look a spinach oh very nice yay spinach are growing and we also have my Korean lettuce here. And they are growing very slowly. Oh my gosh, look at this mint. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. Because there's a mint plant right here. I might just pull it out right now. I'm pissed. It is so hot. I went a little crazy. I pulled out everything. I, I cleared this whole thing of mint. I pulled it all out. I tried to get as much of the root as possible. So I'm hoping that it never goes back. I do have extra green onions. But I don't know what to do. Because I know Sam wanted this pathway clear. So I'm just going to let him decide. But I did plant a few more right here. And I still have like an abundance. I did plant some more of the mint into this little bucket. But... I don't, I don't know if that's going to grow. Then over here, I pulled out everything. And this fat root was the bane of my freaking existence in my pregnancy. Like, oh my gosh. <sighs> Hopefully, I got all the mint. If not, it'll be easier to pull it out now that the main root is probably pulled out. Some of my lettuce did take a hit while pulling it out, but it's fine. Eventually, with Sam's approval, I will plant those radishes over there. So I've been working on the Cricut. Let me show you guys what I've been working on for the baby shower. And this template is honestly just for the back of the bear. It also has my baby's name, but I don't want to share that yet in case it actually changes or I don't know. I just don't want to share it yet. 
so this is basically like the simple template that I'm going with um, it'll just say baby and the name right here and then I also have these t-shirts and so these are like clothes pins and so it's just decorations I'll show you guys the final design but this is basically the template that I'm going with and I have different colored papers and they're really cute the paper we got from Hobby Lobby is cute so that's what I'll be printing it on it's gonna be three different papers so it should be a lot of clothes pins it'll be cute and then I now all I have to do is print them and hope for the best because I do not have extra of the papers for the clothing pins oh I also have to make a sign Oh, I forgot about that I have to make a sign for the actual backdrop Okay, so I'm back on the grind, but I just have something funny to say. Sam, literally, we bought this in Lake Tahoe and no, no, I think we bought this in Reading at the Hobby Lobby. And this is the cardstock photo. <laughs> Sam goes, I think this is the best picture we have of him. And I'm like, it's literally the cardstock photo. And he just started laughing. But anyways, um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe he said that. He's so, he's so funny. This is what I have so far, baby. And then that's going to be his name at the bottom. And it's just going to be um, a drink. Or not a drink. It's going to be a cake topper. So I added a little toothpick on the back. And it's cute. It's simple. I like it. And that's all I'm going to do today. I don't know why. It just took me forever to like get the settings right for it. Because the name of it was so small. So I was playing around with like different sizes um, and I really, I actually really wanted it to be this size, like very small because cutting the letters would just be too intricate. It just didn't work out. So I had to go with something a little bigger, but it's fine. I think it'll look cute um, with the cake and everything. Okay, so I just made Sam's overnight oats. It's half a cup of overnight oats, the almond milk, one cup, chia seeds, honey and the whey protein powder and then i also add strawberries and um, blueberries on top and this container is really nice because i could just sit it on top like this and he can remove this microwave it and then just add the fruit toppings it also has a thing for sauce like that so this is almond butter but he always forgets to put it um, so he has actually never used it since like the couple times he's taken it. Earlier my aunt and my mom came over and they picked some of my green onions because I guess it's really expensive at the markets right now which I wouldn't know because I don't look at it anymore. But anyways, they came, took that, took a watermelon and then I went back to working on my cricket stuff but... Anyways, I'm going to call it a night. Thank Good morning. I made cut it iced. This is what it looks like. <gasps> Bro, I'm so stupid. But anyways, doing it with the Kyrie was so such a good idea. So bomb. But I'm going to eat this, start working on the Cricut. I kind of have an idea of what I want, but I might want to customize everything. I also asked ChatGPT for some options, and they were kind of cute, but then 
that would mean I have to change like I would have to have a whole theme around it and I don't think uh, I have the capacity to do that right now <laughs> so I might just stick with like oh boy or oh baby or something but we'll see I finally finished making my signs. Let me show you everything. We have the oh boy sign. I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme. I just used what I had. Again, these baby bear sticks. And these clothespin hangers will go around like the like if this was a table, it'll drape around the table. I do have extra so we can hang it on the wall. They're actually really long. Um, so I made way more than I should have. So I'm going to plant my moo and there's a little lettuce, which is the, the kimchi lettuce. My spinach is growing too, so I might plant those. My strawberries though no progress so i don't know about those which is honestly a bummer because there weren't even a lot of seeds and to begin with okay i am hardcore debating eating a lamyon and now that i turned on the camera i think i am going to do it but also i kind of want to make macarons like literally i never chill i just never chill so i finished everything i still didn't put anything away but it is kind of cleaned up but um, I think I'm going to make some macarons. And if they turn out good, I might just make them for my baby shower. But I'm not going to put that on myself because I feel like when I'm pressured to make macarons, they don't turn out well. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I actually tried blue food coloring just in case I did decide to do this for my baby shower. I just wanted to see how well it would work. And it's like a very faint blue. I mixed it with just the regular. And so I'm hoping to give like that swirl effect. And now I'm going to start making the chocolate, which seemed pretty easy. So hopefully it won't take me too long. It is 7.30 now. I remade a batch of macarons and I'm just waiting to bake them. And I kind of went a little deeper with the blue. Um, but I think if I were to actually do this for my baby shower, I'll do a lot more blue. Um, but it's because all of the ones that I made cracked and so I just want to throw that away. Okay, it is 8.54. Some of them didn't make it the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to switch to a different recipe and hope for the best. I don't even know why I'm doing this at this point. I think at this point, it's just for pride. It's not even for the macaron itself. Like, it bothers me. Like, why are they all cracked? Why? Why? So I'm going to try again. And this time... I'm going to make it a little more chocolatey, so hopefully that'll work out. Okay, I need to close out this vlog, but I'm currently making my third batch of shells, and it is not looking good, but they do look pretty. This is a chocolate shell. They are definitely cracking inside. Actually, I will show you guys the first batch. Okay, so these didn't crack, but these did. Just a few of them. It is definitely better, so I'll take that. But anyways, good night. I'm done for tonight.